Hi, it's Nicole, and I'm here to show you a few uh, little heart designs in time for Valentine's Day. I'm in Tuscumbia, Alabama, and we're ready to head out to Georgia this week. And we're going to end up in South Florida by the end of next week. So come on, and I'll show you some cute little baby bonnet hearts. <clears throat> So we start out with our heart from the bottom up, and we echo that heart, and then when we come out, we're going to do little loops. These little loops go all the way around this heart, and they link towards the heart, so the little loops are pointing out. And once we do those loops, we're going to come and put little bumpy pebbles around that. Makes it look like a cute little baby bonnet. Gonna just bounce there and now make a new heart. An echo. Two little loops. This thread is a uh, signature variegated. bounce around there to get to where I can put a new heart. Okay. Come out of the loops. Just going to do a little hump in there. Got a little tight. <clears throat> one going sideways. This makes a nice overall design or you can do it real tiny for a background film. down. Always give my hearts that little flip of a leg. I'm not using my stitch regulator. I've got my machine at about 65% of motor speed. And it just takes a few hours of practice to be able to get your personal movements up to speed with your machine so that you can move smoothly and have fairly even stitches. If you practice without your stitch regulator, you're going to be a better freehand quilter. It forces you to move smoothly. If you don't, you'll either get stitches that are too close together or toe snaggers. There's consequences for not moving smoothly when you don't use your stitch regulator, which helps train you to move properly. Just bounce around in there to fill up that little hole. sideways now. We will be in Tampa on the 15th of February and I am offering private lessons in the art bus in South Florida throughout the month of February and March. 
So if you're interested in that, get in touch with me. Yes, you can quilt at gmail.com. We're in the art bus, so we're able to go anywhere in Florida through March. I do stitch off the edge on, mo on most of my quilts, too. props to my partner Michael for videoing. back so I can get around and fill up this edge here. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you when we're in your neck of the woods.